What's going on, Bay Fam? It's your boy, Bay Area Transparency, and we're back at it once again. Today, we're in the city of Concord, California, at the California State Parole Office. The date is September 22nd, 2021, and that date's important because on September 21st, 2021, I was at the California State Parole Office in San Jose. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's getting a ton of views right now. It's called Stop Grabbing Me. In this video, I didn't want to release it or I was a little bit reserved to release it because it's definitely mentally damaging to me. I did spend the night in the emergency room after this video just so everybody knows. I'm choosing to release this video so we can expose the callousness of these people, okay? Not just the parole officers that are involved, but also the Concord City police officers that are involved. And you'll see what they did. My phone was taken from me and basically stolen, and I was kept there for 30 to 35 minutes and continuously threatened. That's all I can say about that part of it. I feel like if there's ever a video that I have done that is nationally newsworthy, it's this video right here. Let's go ahead and share this video, get this out there, and push for accountability on this video. I didn't know if I wanted to share this on YouTube like this or just run it through the court system and let it take its course, but like I said, I'm going to go ahead and share it. On the screen right now is an email I received from the individual from Eternal Affairs, California Department of Corrections, who's investigating this incident. That's all I'm going to say. Bay Area Transparency. Let's watch the video. It's like they got cameras everywhere around here. What was that? Like that? Uh, just taking pictures around the area. No, 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 no. All right, we got contact. What? Camera. Yeah, I got a camera. State property. Camera. Public property. State Don't property. touch my camera. You cannot do cars You cannot here. touch my camera. This Call. is public Call property, sir. Private, You're a parole agent. Vehicles. You can't grab me. You can't grab me. Ow! Ow! Let it go. Ow! You can't do what that. You can't do our personal vehicle. Why are you choking me? He's choking me. Stop choking me. All right. Stop choking me. You're a parole agent. You can't grab me like that. Get off me. What's wrong with you? You can't grab me like that. Grab me to the ground. Get my glasses back. Back up. I'm trying to grab my glasses. Walk off, Papa. Walk off. You. I'm grabbing my glasses. You'll get it there. You understand? Grabbing my glasses. You understand me? You'll
I'm not trying to fight back you. Quit putting your hands back on here. me. Where's my glasses? Back here. I'm not fighting you. Get out of here. I'm not trying to fight you. Stop fighting me. Yeah. Call the TV. Give me my glasses. Give me my phone. You can't just take my stuff. You're a parole agent. You ain't even a cop. Oh, this is what we're doing. Come back here again. You have to Call cops. Quit touching me. Okay. Jesus Christ, can I have my glasses on? I'm leaving. Okay, can I have my glasses? Get on the ground. Get Mary here now. You understand? Hold on. Okay. No, no, no. I need her name. I need her name. This bitch tackled me and choked me. Okay, Bay fam. Let me go ahead and stop that right there. As we all know, I try very, very hard not to call names, be antagonistic, and try to be very peaceful when I'm in these situations and in these encounters. But based off of what just happened to me, everything was going crazy in the situation, and I ended up calling that lady a name. I do apologize. I try never to do that, but I mean, <laughs> look what happened. I mean, that's all I can say. Let's get back to the video. I mean, she tackled me and choked me. What's your name? This is open to the public. No, I understand. It's open. Yes, I can. It's open to the public. Am I being detained? No. Am I be then it's open to the public. I need her name. No, no, I don't care. I don't have to listen to nothing you say. What's your name? Name? Name. Okay. What's your name? Name? Okay. These and this is the one that slammed me and choked me. Right here. Right. Yes, you can slammed you me and you choked me. I can. I'm not detained. I can walk up anywhere. I'm not doing nothing. You guys say. Well, shut the door. Lock the door. No, no, no. I can go in. This is open to the public. Slam me and choked me. You can't, this is not. This is open to the public. There's public information right here. You see, the police aren't doing nothing. You idiot, dude. You can't slam me and choke. They walk right up to. No, no, no. What we're doing is, he needs to be in handcuffs. I have the film. I'll show it to you. Uh, he yeah, walked right up to me, slammed me, and choked me. Again. That's it. I'm gonna talk to you outside. Man. That's it. No, no, no. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna film. I'll go back in. Okay. Then we're, gonna, then we're gonna get up on out here. Okay. Okay. There's nothing more for us to do here. Uh, right. I'll file the paperwork. You're saying there's nothing more for you to do? What they tell you? What they tell you? I was trying to talk to both of you. They didn't tell you. Well, then go do your job and then talk to me. Well, you came in here and then he went back there. <laughs> it so don't, they've talk. been holding me and my phone for an hour. They ripped my glasses off my face. They're probably all scratched up. They slammed me to the ground, fucking choked me. Okay. Didn't even say a word to me. Walked right up, slammed me, choked me. Boom, that's it. They said, what are you doing? I said, hey, I could do this. I was on the ground. That's it. Okay. Started pulling out pepper spray, threatening to beat me up. Yeah, it's, and it's all on camera back there. Okay. So let's get him, right? You slammed me and choked me. Is that correct? Come on, let's get his side. Yep. You see how I can do this now? Are you, on parole? you see how I can sir, do this? You, you see how I can sir, do this? Do you see how I can are do this now? Sir, are you on parole? This dude needs sir, to be gone. California are State parole? parole. This guy needs to be gone. This is Robinson. He needs to be gone. This guy had just assaulted the shit out of me. Beat me up in the back. Stole my phone. It ain't. I didn't want a response. I just gave I just gave Martinez a shout out today in Martinez PD. I'd rather highlight police officers and peace officers. You walk up and slam somebody when for no reason and then detain them when you're a peace officer. You don't even have authority to detain somebody. I wasn't here at Officer GP. We weren't it doesn't here. matter. Investigate because now the camera's on you. I'm watching you. Okay. Investigate. Okay. You're not even talking to the individual that's involved. Well, Investigate. Loud, so you're so loud. Investigate. Well, I wanted my phone. So Wouldn't you want to your way to, to document this? What? Wouldn't you want that? No. You would want to have a way to document this if this wait, happened wait. to you. you so now investigate. No, I'm a chill. You investigate. To do that. If you want to come down to the police report to the station and do that. No, I'm, I'm here right now. Investigate. You had a chance to do that. You were just. Okay. So you're refusing to investigate. What's your name and badge number? Luciano. Luciano. Okay. He's, he's refusing to investigate because I was pushing to get my phone back. What's your name and badge you number? Because you're in it too. Giving you an opportunity to come investigate. No, no, no. Okay. Talk okay. to him. You're not going to tell me how to investigate. It's Talk to him. Okay. Talk right. to him uh, about what happened. Yeah, you need to get a statement. The door, go yeah. I, I can be in there. Okay. Yeah, you can. This is public. Can, uh, yeah, exactly. It's okay. Property, I need so you to investigate to him. Investigate. Pictures of the cars, whatever you want to do, it's public property. Investigate. 
Okay. I'm telling you right now, there's, you have to take a police report. There is a crime that happened. I was assaulted and battered by that pro officer. Investigate. On camera okay. and on their cameras. So I want you to go get a copy of their cameras for your police report. It was, there's two cameras in the back, and it happened right on those cameras. Okay. So go investigate. Like my partner was saying, um, head on down to the Concord Police Station. So now instead of the, the police doing it while they're here and everything's here, they're just refusing unless I go down to the police station. This is, a hot, you're, this is sort of hostile right now. I don't, I'm asking you to investigate. There's nothing hostile. We had, we go investigate. Do that right now. You, but like, you didn't. Here's the thing. Well, the first Based thing you should have done, Luciano, listen, the first thing you should have done is get me my phone so I could record and then it would have been, uh, uh, I would have been quiet. See? Okay, I'm telling you I'm reporting a crime. Are you walking away from me reporting a crime? Yep. Because these are, this is state parole, they're walking away from me reporting a crime right now. This is Concord PD. They have just lost their jobs. I'm telling you I'm reporting a crime. Are you walking away from me reporting a crime? You're walking away from me reporting a crime. I'm being very loud. I know you can hear me. You're walking away from me reporting a crime. Do you understand that? I am reporting a crime. I needed my phone to document. Okay. There you go. Concord PD just walked away from me trying to report a crime. Oh, this is Concord PD, ladies and gentlemen. And California State Parole walked up to me, slammed me on the ground. And then these guys all just drove away and wouldn't let me report a crime. I need a complaint form, please. We actually have a supervisor who we, we contacted. Give me my complaint form. You're not a pro leader. It don't matter. Are you a pro leader? It don't matter. It's called a peace officer's complaint no, we form. Have we have what's called an appeals form. Yeah, it, it, I don't need a 602. It's a citizen's complaint. It's so different. I, I, Look in your Title 15. It's called a citizen's what complaint. I'm trying to explain to you is the supervisor up above. I just called him. What he's doing is calling. We need to call to see what we, documentation we need to give you. If you are pro lead, I will give you appeals form. I don't know what else to give you right now. You won't give me your name. I have no clue who, who you are, who you represent. It doesn't matter. I'm not on parole. Now, do you realize I'm allowed to do this? 100%. I Why would you walk up to me and slam me? I have no idea who you are. It doesn't matter. You, you, you can't. You like look, right Robinson. I gave you an answer. Human to human, bro. Oh, you can't walk you up and slam you. people. No, we don't have to fucking talk. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do me a favor. I'm trying, we're trying to de-escalate this, I'm trying man. To de-escalate. Do me a favor. I called, who they called? I called Sacramento. When he faxed me the form or whatever, I will call him back. What's it called? I will call him. Uh, a citizen's complaint. I'm just saying, I'm why would you walk, why would you walk right up to me and slam me? You could have just talked to me. You're a public servant. You do have to talk to me. You have to give me any forms I ask for. I need a Title 15 and a 602 ASAP. Dude, these are the most foul parole officers I have ever seen in my life. And they went and snatched my phone, wouldn't give me my phone back at all. And then the cops refused to investigate because they said, oh, that's what he wants. We're out of here. Well, he was too loud. He's talking too much. So they refused to investigate me being beat up, dude. I mean, he slammed me, choked me, detained me for an hour, told me I had to sit down, tried to make me sit down, said they were going to pepper spray me. It was to the point where I finally told him no. He tried to handcuff me too, but I told him you can't handcuff me. I ain't going in cuffs, and I pulled away from the cuffs. All for recording. And his reasoning was, I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. That's his reasoning. Forms. What do you mean documentation? I need a title 15. Okay, I need a copy of your cameras. I need a copy of your then I need a, a Freedom of Information Act so I can get a copy of your cameras. Hey, then you better figure it out. All right, I'm staying here. I, I, I can't even walk now anyway, so I'm staying. This is all they'll give me right here. Ah.
So she's trying to take pictures of me. Make sure that's on your uh, parole phone so I can get a copy of all your records, please. Now nah, she's taking pictures. Uh, off for of her phone. Uh. They said you wanted a citizen's complaint form? Yep. <sighs> she gave you a parolee one, so you want this one. <sighs> She's still talking shit. She can clearly see I'm hurt and fucked up. She don't care. This is the heartlessness of these people, man. It's this is fucked up that I even have to document this. I shouldn't even have to document any of this. I shouldn't be filming myself. I should be walking away saying these guys did a good job. Or the interaction wasn't that bad. Like, what's it gonna take? What's it gonna take for there to be real change within the system? Is it gonna take more of us getting killed, shot by these people? Or, or are we gonna start refining the hiring process and making sure these individuals understand they're not here to hurt everybody?